Hey guys, it's Friday. We're finishing up this week strong in this Power Minute devotional series that I've written for you. My name is Lena, by the way. I'm a doctor and a Bible teacher, a doctor of medicine, but <laughs> there's all kinds of doctors. And so I practice telemedicine. Maybe you've heard my voice before and just the first time seeing my face. And if so, glad you're here. Uh, I hope we're friends and I'm glad we're friends. And so this devotional I wrote is called Pillar of Cloud. The verse that I've taken this from is Psalm 99, seven. In the pillar of the cloud, he, God, spoke to them, us. God's leading is sometimes clearest when the clouds are darkest. When the people of Israel were freed from Egypt and headed to the promised land, they had no idea where they were going. They had to rely on the Lord every single step of the way. To say that there were clouds in their horizons is an understatement. Yet God spoke to the people of Israel through the pillar of the cloud. God is not daunted by the same clouds that darken the path of his people. In fact, God often uses the clouds to get our attention and bring us into deeper dependence on him. It's when I'm least sure of the way that I seek God the most. It's when my heart is shaking in fear that I'm most on my knees. Hey, why does it take clouds for us to finally turn to the Lord? Maybe clouds are a gift meant to deepen our walk with our Savior. So what clouds are you facing today? Why not start looking for God in the pillar of the cloud and expect to hear his voice? That's the God we serve. He speaks in the darkness. He's the light of the darkness. And so if you're walking through a tunnel and it feels dark, have no fear. His whisper is near you. His word is with you. His presence is on you. Listen, we're praying for you. God longs for you to hear his voice. This isn't a mystery. He's given us his word. And so if you need prayer towards that end, that God would light up your path, we will pray for you. If you don't know the Lord, you can trust him today. Just ask him. Jesus to save you of all of your sins. That's why he died on the cross for you. So we're so glad you're here. I pray God is transforming your life and drawing you closer to him. I am praying for a revival in our country. I'm praying for a revival for me, but also in our land. And so pray with me for towards that. If you want to find out about our ministry, check it out at livingwithpower.org. Speaking of, you can go to livingwithpower.org slash power minute and subscribe in writing to these um, devotionals so you can see the words as well as hear them here on YouTube. So thanks for checking in. Have a great weekend and I'll see you guys again Monday.